Greetings, welcome back. So we will today continue with our series Remove Blocks to Love. And the theme today is, as one of you dear souls wrote, please consider a healing for not being chosen in love and always feeling like there, there's someone else in the picture, like a third party. And so that is the theme of today. So what I'm picking up around this theme is the sense of not being important enough, not being good enough, not be number one, and as well as in the comment, the feeling or the repeating pattern that there is so there is someone else like there is another choice the sense of just getting the get, uh, the leftovers and what i'm picking up around this theme as well is that uh, if you have this pattern if this is re a repeating pattern in your life uh, you there, it is a sense of security to not be the chosen one, um, to not be the um, target for a person's full attention, and to it is also a, a way to blocking love out, and this is actually what we are working on, right? So. Uh, for some reason, there is a fear of be being fully seen by another person, being fully chosen, be fully the point of attention for 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 for, for that person. Uh, and I get that sense that it's that it's more safe to watch and to participate from a, a distance and if you, it is as if you are fully there uh, open and receptive then also you may get hurt so this is a, uh, for some of you a subconscious program to to avoid disappointment to avoid getting hurt and of course that just brings you it never brings you that closeness that you're looking for that sense of being important for another that another person can really fully do what it takes to be with you to put in the uh, effort to be with you and uh, so we will clear this this resistance for love that is the underlying wound <clears throat> and there is a great fear of being seen is what is coming up so just come into your heart as always and be open to receive and I uh, already hear for some of you it's this Yes, I knew it. I I knew it would turn out this way, and here we go again, and just my luck and all this. Um, just being prepared to not get disappointed. And there is pain as well to be. Uh, Put aside for someone else and also this pain of constantly fearing that you will lose that person that is important for you
kéne szás ek jársik itt ossza emlejtétérje is jókotos. So the sense of the love is unsafe. It is not safe for me to be seen, to be loved. Minu ilyen erésen ákinoroszoké, min vújjel jársz, ékó szájsá, tudta törzósá, kien etésen aki orszás. Mi furó száj, ti kétosan erzik, ti hé orszonosá, ti ne ki arszsá kedár. Szónó zsúr száj, kétosz áj, ki korszásá. Szuntó kors ejtán, and there is a repeating thought of if you have, if you meet your person, that constant wondering, does this person really want to be with me or is it just, is it really someone else that he, she is dreaming on, of this is what I get as well to not be able to relax and to enjoy and to open up and to receive when it is in your field. Me urjan teli anna kensi kris anna kriyon tushana kita riente no sai shakita airu sukutoshana. And you guys are asking you, um, can you allow yourself to be important? Can you believe that you are good and enough just as you are? Because there is a sense of if that person really loves me, then I need to be better, I need to change, I need to become my, the best version of myself for not being, for keeping that love. So your guides are asking you, are you willing to accept that you are lovable, that you are enough just the way you are? So there is wounds coming up of not being good enough, not being enough. Nejen erése szanáj, túsú szantáj, previous experiences of rejection. Nej, kent és étér szekó szantája is coming up. Szósan eko szósekirén, fújúr szanté ki a tészim, mún ne alia nájakja. Seur sai ti norusa. Mu ki ane ki ar sai shne shu tu shu sai ki kush ai hi ku kush ai eto sun. Mina ya ni kush ana eto sai. I feel a strong sensation of not being able to just relax and believe. Ne anai ki so ka ka shandai shu that you are just what that other person is seeking. So to shai e koro sane nere ki na sha. Lur e ne ki so ko sane ko so so sha. Ko to ya ne ko sa sha. Ki to san e ki to sho. So there is Pain, grief is coming up. Mane nari te ototos. E ken te shenai. Of old heartbreaks, santen te she otosha. Kosa u kosa e te otoshanai. Lili o no kosa e se te kotinir. E oto no koso sho. And allow this to be clear. Sash e kiter. No ya te shine ki sash ai to sono ki to shine te ko so shu. And you guys now wants to have to clear that pattern that keeps repeating, that keeps repeating this pattern in your life that you to not make you disappointed by repeating this pattern of 
being the second choice or just be good enough until something else, someone else. Um, comes by being dismissed for some someone else and that is a way that is a safety mechanism that you have created subconsciously and if you're willing to fully be open to love because that is what it's all about to accept love in to be open and for love, for you to receive love, then just state yes. And I feel fear, irrational fear is coming up for some of you. Because it means to fully expose your heart. Because if, if it was never really yours, then you don't, then you could never lose it as well. There is an echo, an echo in the interior, so say, I think I have an echo to touch me. Nearly a red in echo, say, Tishiger, a good Urus Naya Laya in a good show. San echo, so show, show, Santa Reco Tanai. And now there is wounds coming up from not being the number one for your parents. For some of you, sent also to not feeling important enough. So in some occasions, for different reasons, saketo chenar so eli etikiri into sushu koruno no no sanaya na kieto shuno koto do shai atikite nor soko sanaya ka ota. And I heard once someone said, if you were not, if you didn't feel as number one for your parents, especially for your mom. You can never allow yourself to be the number one for another person, and that is sad. And we can re we can undo this program, of course. And that it was is what we are doing by you returning to allowing yourself to be that number one. to be accepting that you are lovable. Say to so it's never too late, dear one says Shekina. Me uno kiara na tu sana and also know that the love from someone else doesn't define you. Ninu to shekiana shekuru so bring liberation. Ah senkoro sante shana ki to suno ki anekrita shai and open up for love to find you that the vibration of love, so koshunono, not connected to the love from a certain person, not even from yourself, for source love to find you. And when we accept that loving, it we will accept love from ourselves and from people around us as well. Kishu tushu esete kriana, senkri untu shane ko suno sante shane ko sana, moe neri yana ki yana ki norsuno shane ki yana na na shoto so ena si. How love starts to flow freely and is easy. And upon you say, O to shai ki nai shanai, ki to neya ta yuku sa shanai, say for you to be loved, sa shai te ko to receive. E ku neya nari ante sene ki nai ana ki kosuno. Lai ta yuku sa ki retento sa ta ki aranatash. For you to start to accept different kinds, different expressions of love. Koko sana e otoso. Se kosho sai na yaka. Muloro tai ti sumoso. Fuyali ate no kianta shoso. On orianta o seanta yate otos. Expand your energy bodies, allow the energies to flow freely in your bodies, in your minds and between them, be in between them to really clear all these attachments to these safety mechanisms, to the programs, 
to the connection to the old wounds, the energy of the old wounds. Just let him go as this will continue to be cleared and to be healed. Help you, help you as it moves deeper and deeper. And dear ones, as always, may it bless you deeply as we bring gratitude for everything we received, for the beautiful beings who has assisted us. Thank you, dear ones.